welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're gonna do something that I'm gonna be eating for lunch this week at work. I went to Sam's Club last week and they had a bunch of canned chicken on sale. So I bought a thing like a, it's Sam's Club, so everything's in bulk. There's like a case of four cans that are this size. So they're the big cans. I'm gonna be making chicken salad to eat with some crackers for my lunch. Let's get started mixing this up. I have my chicken here. I did two cans of the chicken, which comes out to be a little over two cups. If you use fresh chicken, you can just measure it out that way. I believe it's about a pound and a half. This says 12.5 ounces, but I don't know if that's the weight of the, just the chicken or if it's the chicken and the water that it's in. So wing it. I don't know, it's just chicken salad. You don't have to measure it per se. So I'm gonna add that to my bowl. Hopefully I have a big enough bowl. And then I also um, hard boiled two eggs. You should already know how to do that, but if you don't, you just put two eggs in cold water, put the pan on the stove. As soon as it starts to boil, turn the heat off, wait seven minutes, put the eggs directly into ice water until they are cold, and then you can peel them and cut them up, and it should be perfect. So I've got two eggs, and I put that in with my chicken. And then I did... So I used the recipe, but I didn't go exactly by the recipe. I just picked and choose what I wanted to put in there. It does say to put celery, but I'm not the biggest celery fan. So if you want to put celery in it, put celery in it, but I'm not going to, you can't make me. So instead of celery, I went with all the other things on the list. One of the ingredients was red onion and it says a quarter cup. I think this is about a quarter cup. I'm not too sure. By the way, the recipe did not ask for eggs. I put eggs in there by myself. I've made, I've never made chicken salad before, but I've made tuna salad. And I always put eggs in my tuna salad, so why not put some in my egg salad? It'll make it creamier. Okay, so I've got my onion in there. Um, I'm gonna add in some apple. This recipe says to put, what is it? One large green apple, like a Granny Smith, but I didn't see those at the store. I probably didn't look hard enough. It's fine. But I did see some sliced apples, which I wanted to use to eat with peanut butter this week. And I don't want to slice my own apples, so I just went the easy route. And then I just used some of those, diced them up, and then I'm gonna put that in with the chicken salad. And then it also says you can put in dried cranberries, which are like craisins, like cranberry raisins. So I did that. It says to do a third cup. I did not measure it, but I think that's somewhere around there. I'll put some of those in. I'm a little nervous, so I've never had chicken salad, like I said before, and I've definitely never put fruit in meat. So I'm excited. Let's try it out. And then the next thing that is not in this recipe that I used um, is almonds. I have read another recipe that said almonds and I'm like, hey, I like almonds. Let's add another texture in there since we're doing crunchy apples, chewy raisins. Let's go for it. So I'll put some almonds in there. Probably too many. I'll just put them on. Alright, so I'm just gonna give all of that a mix. That's pretty much all of the dry, kind of dry stuff that I'm gonna put in here and then I'll prepare the like dressing that we're gonna mix into it. Now we can make the dressing in this little bowl here. So I've already measured out some Greek yogurt. You can use mayo if you want to, but I wanted to do something that was a little healthier this week because I'm really struggling with not eating my leftover Halloween candy. So we're trying to get some protein this week. So I used Greek yogurt. You need half a cup of yogurt or mayo, whichever you choose. So half a cup of yogurt. Then it says to do one tablespoon of lemon juice. I forgot to buy lemon, so I'm just gonna use some white vinegar you can use anything that has like some acidity to it I'm assuming I don't know I've never made this remember but I'm assuming you need lemon juice for the acidity you could probably also use mustard or a different kind of vinegar or a different citrus juice but I'm just gonna use white vinegar the next thing on the recipe is um, one tablespoon of honey so I've got some honey here and we'll just measure that out really quick some seasonings to it. The recipe calls for garlic powder, salt, and pepper to taste. I don't know why, but pepper, the smell of pepper always reminds me of cottage cheese because in our house growing up, that was how you ate cottage cheese was with salt and pepper. So pepper always reminds me of that. And then I'm just gonna add that in here and hopefully it tastes good. I think 
I like it. I'm not sure. It's not bad. Um, I might put a little bit more seasonings in it. I know there's an actual onion in there, but I think I'm gonna add a little bit of onion powder. And then I think I'm gonna add some more garlic and a little bit more salt because that was not enough. But that's why it says to taste. You gotta taste it. You gotta make sure it's good. Cause if it's not, you won't eat it and it's just gonna rot in your fridge. And you'll have to throw it out at the end of the week like I usually do. All right, so this is what it looks like up close and personal. I think I'm excited. I'm gonna try it one more time just to be sure because you never know what might happen. Trying to get all the bits in one bite is hard. It's good. Oh uh, yeah. The way that I'm gonna eat it this week is just with these Triscuits. I got the reduced fat ones because I'm trying to be healthy, right? We'll see. Hopefully I enjoy it because I don't have a backup plan. Don't you just love it when it comes out to be exactly the amount of food that you need? So I will just put some crackers in a baggie and then pop this in my lunchbox and bring it to work for the week. It's nice to try something new every once in a while. Um, let me know if you make this at home and let me know if you like it because I just, I'm curious. Thank you for watching this video. I hope to see you next week when I think I'm gonna start to do like a Christmas cookie series. I know Christmas is coming soon. I know it's only November, but I love cookies. We all know this already, I'm sure. And I've got a couple recipes that I wanna share with you guys. So I hope you are ready for that. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up for me and you can subscribe or follow me here. I am on YouTube and on Facebook, so follow me there. You can also follow me on Instagram. I'll have all of my usernames at the end of the video for you to search for. Thanks again and I will see you next time. Bye. Where was I going with this? So the way that...